Hello, my name is Dr. John Jacobson. Today's Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute tip of the day is ultrasound evaluation of gamekeeper's thumb or skier's thumb. So there are a couple key points in evaluating the thumb looking at the ulnar collateral ligament. The first is placing the probe in the coronal plane relative to the thumb. Note that the thumb is placed overhanging the edge of this rolled up towel. This will allow me to place the transducer directly in the coronal plane. If we look at the ultrasound image, another key point is to identify the characteristic bone contours. You'll see a concavity at the first metacarpal and a smaller concavity at the proximal phalanx. Identifying these two bone landmarks ensures that you are in the proper imaging plane. Note the normal appearance of the ulnar collateral ligament, a hyperechoic and fibrillar structure connecting those two bone landmarks I just mentioned. Many times the ulnar collateral ligament will be slightly hypoechoic just due to the relative echogenic structures outside of that ligament. Another important structure to visualize is the overlying adductor aponeurosis. To identify that, we want to passively move the interphalangeal joint as shown here. When I'm moving the thumb, you can see this thin hypochoic structure which covers the ulnar collateral ligament sliding over the top. This is important when looking at an ulnar collateral ligament tear as if there is a displaced ulnar collateral ligament tear or a stenor lesion, this aponeurosis would be interposed between the displaced collateral ligament tear and this tear at the site of the proximal phalanx. One other dynamic evaluation that you may consider in evaluation of the ulnar collateral ligament is slight valgus stress placed across the MCP joint. As you can see, I'm barely putting any stress across that joint, and you can see the joint widening. Now, there are no numbers that indicate the normal appearance of this joint and how much it should open, but I find this dynamic maneuver important as it can often force fluid into a tear of the ligament to help with its visualization. So that is your hot tip of the day. Now you give it a try.